We're working much harder. Alone. Can I just get him for a second? Oh, That's a group interview. You're right. All right, go ahead. Um, individually, um, I had a great off season working out with Elvis Dumaville. You know, he was teaching me a lot of different things. And um, Coach Swayze, he, t he, toned, he toned it up a little bit. Um, he turned up the notch. A lot of extra running, a lot of extra lifting. So I think it's going to go well, you know what I'm saying? Changes in my, my body type and everything. How, how, what are the changes? Uh, speed, 40. Uh, I'm hitting 225, 20, 25 times, so I'm, I'm getting strong. What's your speed in the 40? Um, I'm running like 4.8, I think, right now. And what were you last year? Uh, I can't remember. It was it was, it was bad. And and what you weigh? Did you say? Um, I'm about 265 right now. It's, it, it feels like uh, you've been here forever. Yeah, yes, or how does it feel for you? Most definitely. I mean, but it goes to my advantage. You know, I'm a, I'm a seasoned vet. I'm well experienced. So, you know, that's going to play into my favor. Uh, how important are you guys, to the rest of the defense, to Sean Spence and the other guys who want to break out year? Um, it's important. You know, it's a team game. You know, we all got to work together. You guys combined for, well, you and Olivier yeah. combined for the most second, well, now you, you know, combined for a lot of sacks and yeah. a lot of tackles for loss. Um, talk about those two elements of the game and... Uh, you know how they. How that's they that's work. that's very important when you are uh, when you get in the red zone and you want to stop a team, you want to take them out of field goal range, and you get in the fringe area. You know you don't want them to get in the field goal range. So you know, sacking the quarterback and tackles for loss, that's going to put offenses in a bind. So that's what we're trying to do. What does Olivier do well? He talked about you. Oh my gosh, Olivier Verde. He's an animal. He's a beast. Have you ever seen this guy? Take off your shirt. He's about 270 pounds. He's running like four six. He's doing like 395 pounds on the bench press. He's just a, and you know, he has great fundamentals, great work ethic. I mean, he's going to have an amazing season. Well, I guess you got back to the hotel late last night. I mean, what do you guys do all day long? Is it all meetings, lunch, you have free time? Um, no, we, we rarely, we probably get an hour, two hours out of a 24 hour day to ourselves. To be honest with you, then it's sleep time, then we back up here, you know, at breakfast or, or we're running or doing whatever we have to do. But we rarely. They don't give us much time. So I mean, you're here as a team with the team all day long. Yeah, Either and eating we'll, or meetings or. And when we get back to the hotel, we you know we review our playbook. You know, we try to spend some time with each other. You know, a camaraderie. We try not to use our cell phones and, and text and try not to do different things. We try to spend time with each other. So like, can you walk through just briefly the schedule yesterday? You know, obviously practice. Then what would you do? Um, after practice, we go over um, to lunch. Then after lunch, you know, we get a, a chance to settle down. You know, about two hours to rest, and we come back over here to meetings. And then we have uh, uh, the weight room. And after the weight room, we have walkthroughs. And after walkthroughs, we're at dinner. And after dinner, we're back out here on the field. How does the uh, Chicolo look? Oh, he looks great for a freshman. I mean, when I came in, I was two, 227. He's at 250. You know, so he's he's where he needs to be at, at this point. Can you talk about the, this is a little bit off the wall, but uh, AJ Highsmith, I don't know how well you know him, but going. AJ Highsmith, he's one of the, he, he's one of those guys who knows what it takes. You know, his, his his dad played here and he played here at the highest level when they were winning. So you know, he knows the great tradition. So you know, he he's doing he's doing good, pretty good. How hard do you think that would be to be a quarter backup quarterback and then? Well, AJ Highsmith was one of those mobile quarterbacks. You know, who were great on his feet. So you know, he's gonna make the transition very easy. Uh, also, Wally, going back to when the whole thing with the jaw, does that also feel like a long time ago? You yeah, know, yeah, that's in the past. That's behind me. How have you changed? Um, How have you changed as a person and uh, since all of that since you first got here? Um, I mean, as you get older, you you, you you mature. You know, that's that's human nature. When you get.